it's story time ladies and gentlemen and in today's video I'm gonna talk about my journey of becoming a youtuber and what really inspired me because to make and create the way I do I never went to film school I learned from trial and error and I'm gonna go into detail of what cameras I bought and my very first camera and the reason why I bought a camera in the first place. Remember, if you're new to this channel, guys, hit the like button and subscribe button, and welcome back to another video. Let's get it rolling. So, we're going to get into how I became a YouTuber and filmmaker. And in 2003, my friends were in high school, and they were always creating movies. And I was so fascinated on how do you create movies. So one day I went into the computer room where they were recording their videos and editing them on the Mac computer and I think it was iMovie and they were doing it on Windows Movie Maker and the fascinating thing is they were showing a real clip of their video in like the little clip preview box on Windows Movie Maker and iMovie and I was so fascinated like how are you doing that that's awesome that's cool you're making movies and at that time I didn't know it was so easy to make films and back in 2000 to 2003 it was very hard to make movies I'll say that because we we're using tape and it wasn't so out there that the mainstream media could just pick up any camera and start using it most cameras out in those days were these were a uh, little candy cam so I was like okay cool and then around 2004 Walmart had like a layaway program and I, I wasn't still really into video cameras and looking but something boggled my mind when I looked at this video camera and I'm like hmm maybe I could do something with that and I went to Walmart and got this Sony Hi8 video camera which is a 480p camera and it was analog and the only problem is instead of it being stereo audio it was mono so every time I'd upload a video to YouTube or play a video it would come out of one speaker and I don't know why Sony made a camera where only one speaker worked and it was not stereo so I, I had no idea so what I did was I put on the layaway system and layaway is basically paying payments and I paid four hundred and fifty dollars for this camera it had night vision it had like a 900 zoom and it also had um, really great image quality and I'll show you some clips throughout the video of what I was able to record and what I kept because there's some of the videos I, I still have on YouTube some of the videos I scrapped and I don't have any way of playing those tapes because I threw them all away because I was like whatever I'm not gonna uh, use these anymore and I, I really feel bad that I did delete all those footages that I had I basically threw all the tapes away so around 2005 I was on MySpace and they were posting bulletins saying you can now post videos from YouTube and I was like what is this YouTube so I went to YouTube and I signed up because at the time I said you have to have a profile to get videos so I made a profile and I was like well I have a camera and I figured out how to upload them to YouTube and I was doing almost no editing I was doing mostly my and now what I'm about to show you is some clips of a video my friend made and this is what really inspired me is watching stuff like this and seeing them create fun cool videos and like I said back in those days when they were creating there was no MySpace no YouTube no none of that so you had to put it on like these weird websites just to even be able to post it on the web and the quality was horrible and you had to go to like weird third-party websites that no one's ever heard of and probably not around to this day but you can see the quality of video that my friend was shooting at the time was pretty good for a 480p video you know it was actually pretty decent quality yes it's not the most professional quality like a can like a Canon DSLR but it's doing the job pretty well for a camera that came out in like 2001-2002 we're now recording on this on my Samsung Galaxy S3 but the video clips that I'm about to show you was shot on this little camera which is called the Kodak ZI6 and I did get a pink version of the camera because at the time my brother was giving me an HD camera because I really wanted one because 
in 2009, I really wasn't, I was starting to get on YouTube and st I was like, I want to make a new channel and I didn't know what to make it about and what happens is I came across Timothy De La Ghetto which was vlogging every day on a flip camera and I'm like, people watch him drive around in his car and hang out with his buddies, people enjoy that and people really enjoyed his content so I thought maybe if I get a camera and I, I, I was embarrassed to be honest to carry around a huge ass camcorder around town and vlog I was like embarrassed to do that but what I wasn't embarrassed to hold like a little camera and vlog and I was still at that point when I would walk around and see so many vlogs like oh no do nothing I was like kinda nervous but um I subscribed to the dude and he was one of the very first persons I subscribed to because at that time I didn't really understand the whole subscription base the whole view count I was like YouTube is just a place to throw videos up. I never knew it could turn out to a business or something that people wanted to do to make a living. So, what happens is I get this little pink ZI6 and I start using it. And I'm like, damn, the quality is awesome. It's so clear. It does 720p at 30 frames per second, 720p at 60 frames per second. And I still didn't understand the difference between 60 frames and whatever. So, and I wasn't really going out and vlogging it as well I was just going outside and maybe pointing it at a picture point at a tree or pointing here was out of the black model and at that time it was either the pink one or the black one or I would have had to wait like another four weeks or something like that and I was like no nah, I'm good I'm just gonna get pink my brother was like are you sure it's it's girl color I'm like I don't really care no one's gonna care it's just a camera and that's all I'm gonna use it for I'm not caring if it's pink black or blue because it's always gonna do the same thing at the end of the day and that's what it did. It recorded video and I started uploading uh, like guitar lessons and everything like that. But I was starting to be like, well, I can upload in HD because 720p was the highest resolution back then that people were able to upload to YouTube. The sound quality was not okay when you would have loud environment, loud bass or this loud music. It would, it would distort the camera. The zoom was horrible. It was like two, two times zoom. So you basically zoom in like that and it would be horrible. But what I was able to capture was some of the greatest stuff. But I wish where I lived, I would filmed more. Where I was going to college, it's a very beautiful uh, town. You can get nice time lapses. You can get nice scenery. Nice um, scenery because it's a very nice nature environment. An ultimate thing for me, guys, is to create. I love, I love the creativity. I love when my videos get a lot of attention, a lot of views. I love when I make a review video and someone says, thank you bro, that that your video really helped me out. Thank you bro, that review helped me out from buying that dash camera. Thanks bro, that your video just helped me uh, with this or that problem. And that's what I've always loved about YouTube, especially you can create something that can be seen by the whole world. You don't have to rely on some production company or somebody telling you not to upload this or not to we're not going to show this for six months. You have the ability to click upload today and be seen by millions of people or be seen by two people. If your video got seen by 12 people, you should be the most happiest son of a bitch ever because that means somebody did watch your video and if let's say 8 of those 12 people loved your video, then that's 90% of your viewership liked your videos. So uh, it all comes down to what you're creating, how you're creating your videos, what content you're putting out there, what kind of content if you're vlogging. Vlogging is a very one-sided uh, video. It's either you have one perspective of your life or you integrate your family and friends and that could make your videos uh, more popular. But let me know in the comment section below or post a video letting me know how you became a YouTuber and what inspires you to create and what made you first pick up that camera or web camera or whatever and hit record and upload because not everybody has the balls to hit record and upload because they don't want the hate they don't want to look weird they just don't know what they're doing so they're like I don't know and most youtubers will actually tell you from experience even a lot of big ones that blew up they had no clue what they're doing the day they hit record they just had an idea shot it uploaded it got a lot of attention and said hey maybe if I do it again I'll get more attention and that's pretty much where it is and never give up when you're making videos or whatever you do in life because if you give up then 
you're just a quitter. If you're a guy who makes videos every day or all the time and you get 10 views, 20 views, eventually somebody will see you and your videos will go from here to here. I don't care if you have 50,000 subscribers, it all comes down to the view count. If you're getting a lot of views, that means you're getting a lot of attention. If you're getting a lot of subscribers and not a lot of views, then that means you got to work on your content to make it better. So, I'm Trevor, and as you can see, I try to make my videos where I'm more comfortable in front of the camera, which I am more comfortable in front of the camera than I've ever been before. But, I will definitely talk to you people in this camera lens next time. One last thing I forgot, if you watch a YouTuber that you love his style of videos, you can always integrate that kind of style into your vlogs and kind of progress your videos. I've watched MKBHD, I kind of take similar stuff what he does in his reviews and make it into my reviews. I kind of take Casey Neistat's uh, time lapse idea and put it into my videos because a lot of you guys are like, that time lapse thing is pretty awesome. And I think time lapse are pretty cool, it's just... um. I've never thought about doing them, but I'm Trevor, and I'm out of here, baby.